Alright, so what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of JNL Garage. Today we're gonna be piddling on the old Chevy. Uh so like I've started this video once already. Uh and I got frustrated because I couldn't get the lug nuts mm. off of the truck. We we're gonna start doing the brakes. I'm sure that's the title of this vehicle. I mean video, excuse me. But anyways, I, I got irritated with it, so I just quit filming and just started doing other stuff. So, what I did off camera was new to, new rotor, button, and cap. Uh, I'm using the same old oil, coal, super coal that's on top, just cause nothing wrong with it. New spark plug wires, new spark plugs. I don't remember if I posted a video of this truck running before, uh, but it had a skip to it, real bad skip. Uh, that's gone. Usually plugs and stuff's gonna clear that up, and it did. Uh, so I did uh, man manage to get the wheel off the other day, but I didn't have a set of Allens to fit uh, the Allens that are on the brake calipers. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, because I do have a set of Allens now. Uh, so right now I'm gonna work on getting the caliper off. I need to take both the calipers off, then I need to make a trip to town, uh, because I still have to return both the front calipers and the master cylinder. So I, I want to get all these, or all, I want to take them all at once, uh, so that way I still have to get a brake hose for the front, one of the soft lines that comes out of the frame right here. And then I also uh, have to get the other caliper. They came in a week or two ago, but I just haven't went because I wanted to come back with uh, everything this go round. So without further ado, I'm going to get this brake caliper off, and I may go ahead and take the brake line off. It's according to if any brake fluid comes out or not, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I've managed to get uh, both of the front calipers off. However, I ran into an issue a little earlier than I thought I would. Um, I don't have uh, big enough wrenches to take the brake lines loose from the frame. So uh, I've got to go to town anyways to drop these calipers and stuff off. So we're just going to go ahead and go do that now. And then I'm going to pick up a set of wrenches while we're there. Harbor Freight's right in the same parking lot as uh, the parts store. Uh, so, uh, and also, I also ran into another issue. So these pads are from Advance, and if you can see this little nipple right here, anyways, the factory ones do not have that on the side that sits towards the piston of the caliper. It, that's where that pad sits. So that nipple is hindering the brake pad from being able to slide in between the dust cover and uh, the rotor completely like it's supposed to. So, uh, I'm also going to take a stop by my dad's shop and knock that nipple off real quick, and then we're going to run to the parts store, and I also have to pick up a couple groceries, so uh, hopefully we'll make it back in time to do some more work on this thing. We'll see. Alright, so it's been a couple days since the last clip. Uh, I ran into some issues. Uh, so, the lug nuts that came off of this truck were uh, rusted under the chrome so bad that the chrome was actually... Uh, popping off the lug nuts. I wish I still had them. I hadn't thrown them away to show them to you. They were trash. The, n none of the lug nut sockets would fit them, uh, nor would the uh, lug nut wrench fit them that well. It, it fit them well enough to where I could get it, uh, get the wheels off. So then I ran into the next problem of finding lug nuts. Uh, so these are just some cheap ones from O'Reilly's. Uh, and the problem was is that the O'Reilly's that is in my hometown uh, didn't have any of those and that's the only ones they carry uh, in, unless you're going to order some special ones and they're super expensive uh, so I hit a couple O'Reilly's on my way to work and back after this last weekend when I was working or after these last two days when I was working and I got a. Uh, I managed to pick up two packs, so that's enough to put, at least put the front wheels and tires back on. 
I haven't taken a good look at the back lug nuts. I guess we could do that now. So see, these actually look okay. I mean, they're old. I don't care what they look like right now. I mean, I don't know if I showed you guys the bed, but I don't care what the lug nuts look like. I don't want brand new ones on here if I don't have to. Uh, but all of the ones on the front were shot. They were done. So anyways, uh, I know the last clip you guys saw, I was heading to advance to get the rest of the parts to do what I needed to do. Uh, so I got those. I got the caliper, and then I got the two front brake hoses. So all the front brakes are on. Um... And then I also thought I filmed this, but I believe, I'm, I know I filmed it, I'm not crazy. However, I believe that after I filmed it, I deleted uh, the video. So, uh, it does have a brand new fuel pump on it, which I'm about to show you guys now. If I can get this open with one hand. There we go. So, new fuel pump is on. Cranking is way easier now, which I'm actually going to show you guys now. Because I, I can't remember. I, I haven't went and looked through my videos to see if I cranked this thing up once or not. Uh, but, doesn't matter. We're going to crank it up now. I left the keys in it, I think. Can't make in there for nothing. Uh, but anyways, I've just got that wheel sitting on there right now. Uh, we're going to do four lug nuts on each wheel for now. The O'Reilly's on my way back and forth to work. is uh, They're supposed to have some more come in within the next week or two. So I'm just going to keep picking up two packs at a time. I only need six packs of four to get all 24 lug nuts. Um, and, and then it'll have all brand new ones if the back ones need it. The back ones may not need it. Uh, and if the back ones don't need it, as much as I'm trying to be on this to getting it together, uh, you know, that's just the way it's going to be for now. Now, eventually, if I get new wheels, yes, I'll put new whatever's on it. But so before, when I was trying to crank this thing after I put the new starter on here and rebuilt the carburetor, it was still taking a very, very long time to get it to crank. It would just spin and spin and spin. It would actually build up oil pressure before it would uh, even start to cough like it was going to crank. So we're going to see if it's any better this go round. So, so that's way better. That's still not quite what I would like it to be. Um, and I think the reason why it's still having issues now. Dang, she sounds like she's running a little fat there. Either that or the choke is to come on all the way. Oh, the choke's on. Almost sound like she's got a cam to it. There it went. Fast idle came on then. So that sounds a lot better. She's just cold right now, and I guess fast idle didn't come on like it was supposed to. Whenever you... You're on these old trucks with these quadra jets where it's all vacuum operated and everything, you're actually supposed to pat the gas once before you crank it to do uh, to start the fast idle sequence or whatever. And then once it builds up heat, uh, there's a valve on there that's actually bad on my carburetor. It's supposed to pull that fast idle down, uh, but if it doesn't come down on its own, once you get in the truck and you actually start to drive it, then as you hit the gas, it's supposed to kill the fast idle then. Uh, but there's no more skipping. Um, there's no more, uh, no more really hard cranking. Like when I tell you guys I had to crank it for a long time, I'm talking like 45 seconds straight to be able to prime fuel into the carburetor enough to get it to crank. Uh, there's no more smoking. It was smoking real bad when I first got it running on its own. Uh, all that's done uh, as far as I know it no more issues in that also I know I told you guys in the last clip I just remembered that, that I was gonna clear coat these calipers uh, but the advanced auto parts that I got uh, these calipers from was out of clear coat paint so I just said screw it I could have just went to Walmart and grabbed some real quick but I'd, I just said screw it I, I'm over it uh, but 
Uh, I was going to update you guys on that. I am going to get the front wheels and tires on today uh, and hopefully get it put back on the ground. Uh, and then hopefully, it's really humid and hot out here right now. Hopefully, we'll be able to jump on the back here soon. All right, so went on ahead, threw the front wheels on, uh, and got it back on the ground. So now, uh, I'm going to be running this uh, while I'm working on the back. Uh, but I didn't realize this tire had a slow leak till now. It held air for a while. Um, but I'm kind of maybe getting ready to take this thing on like maybe a little maiden voyage. Uh, just to, I just want to go to a little gas station up the road. Uh, you know, I'm just going to probably get like a Coke or something. But uh, mainly just seeing how good the brakes are working and making sure that uh, everything's going to be okay as far as driving wise goes. Uh, the only thing that might hold me up though is the transmission still being too full uh, where I overfilled it so I don't know if that's gonna happen today for sure but I know the first place I want to take it is gonna be there uh, strictly because it's the shortest drive to somewhere where I can park and uh, stop and check on everything make sure everything's still doing good and that way I'm on uh, still a little two-lane roads that I can drive slow because uh, these tires are getting replaced before I do any kind of real driving with it because they're dry rotted real bad But nonetheless, I'm gonna start letting this uh, tire pump up and then I'm also going to get a uh, Get the rear end jacked up and ready. All right, so we're at the rear of the truck now Obviously got the wheel and tire off these lug nuts are actually okay. So it looks like I'm gonna be able to put this back together uh, and I'm pretty sure, so I, even though I bled the front brakes and I done them the correct way and everything, I think this wheel cylinder is going to be stopped up. Either that or the brake hose is collapsed there. Um, one or the other because, uh, I haven't tried to move these wheel cylinder and collapse them yet. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to have much luck with it. And not only that, but, uh, when I mashed the brakes, or I drove it through the yard after I bled the front brakes. And I got the tire aired up uh, just to see if the front brakes were going to work. And they're working, but it's still got a really soft pedal. Well, after trying to take the this rotor off, I would show you, but uh, I got it over there cleaning and drying. It, and I've already washed it. But anyways, there was a whole bunch of uh, corrosion and stuff still down here at the bottom. Uh, like, like caked on, stuck on. Like I had to drive it off with a screwdriver. So that tells me that more than likely, obviously this was turning, uh, but the brake pads weren't actually contacting the, the rotor, the drum, uh, the drum to, you know, scrape that off. Otherwise it would have scraped that off already, I think. So we're going to have an issue back here in the back somewhere. It looks like this stuff hasn't been replaced in a while, uh, which none of it has. The, the truck hasn't been on the road in 22 years. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to try and get this one apart, and then I'm going to take the rotor, the drum off of the other one, so that way I know how to put this one back together. Uh, so, but I'll update you guys whenever I get this one, uh, probably either tore apart or put all the way back together. Alright, you guys, so it has been a day or two, uh, since the last clip again. Uh, it just keeps, I just keep running into more and more issues on this truck. Uh, so the brake lines on both wheel cylinders were, uh, rusted to the actual line, the, the fitting, uh, I don't know, what, I guess that's what you'd call that. But anyways, it was rusted on both sides. I've already done this side, uh, as far as everything behind the rotor, uh, I mean the drum. So, uh, wheel cylinder, brake shoes, all that's done on this side. Uh, and then I've got this side tore down. And I'm starting on it now. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm really just trying to knock this out. You know, there's a bunch of tutorials on how to do drums on these older uh, GM vehicles and everything. Uh, and I'm not that good at it. So I don't, I just can't see me making a tutorial on it when I'm like having a hard time doing it myself. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm gonna try and get this side put back together and then take the soft line and the hard lines off of the axle under here uh so we're just gonna take we're gonna take both sides uh 
this should be the longer side here, the driver's side, and then the shorter side should be over there on the passenger side. And then we're also going to take this soft line right here off and uh, replace it. I got the new one. I just set it down somewhere. It's out here. Uh, so we're probably going to go ahead and put the new soft line on. Uh, and then we just won't have any hard lines until tomorrow. Uh, the only auto parts store in my town that sells brake line, not bent or whatever, uh, is, uh, is closed already. So, I'm going to work on getting this put back together, and hopefully in the next clip, I'll be working on hard brake line. Alright, so it's been a couple of days once again. Uh, every time I turn around, I'm having issues with this truck. Anyways, uh, eventually we're going to have it on the road, and I don't think these problems are going to be reoccurring. However, uh, the brake lines, the brakes in general, are a very important part to any vehicle. And especially since this thing's probably going to be towing stuff, I want this to, you know, just about be all brand new. So... What I've done was I hawked down some brake lines that are about the right length, and then I've got my brake bender here, brake line bender, obviously. Uh, so we're gonna remake the hard lines that attach to the rear axle, and then get them attached up, and then hopefully, all we'll need to do is bleed the brakes then, um, cause like, well, you guys already know we've rebuilt everything. Uh, as far as inside the drums, the only thing we didn't do is uh, put new hardware and stuff in. Uh, but all the hardware in there looked, you know, pretty good, to be honest. So, without further ado, let's get this done. Uh, so that way this video is not 30 minutes long. Alright, so just finished up the new hard lines. I had to do some crazy bends and uh, take up some space on this one here because it was just way too long. Could have got the 10 inch shorter version, I believe, and made it work fine, but I wanted to make sure I had too much and uh, not not enough, because you can't return these things. Uh, but this one over here, it, it looks great. This one, I had to miss a clamp right here on this end, but it is pretty sturdy, so I'm okay with that. So now I'm gonna get them bled and uh, see if they work. All right, so we got the transmission changed in it. It's smoking a lot right now, because it's burning all the transmission fluid. It was puking out. From it being over full on the exhaust headers and stuff, or the exhaust manifolds. Uh, so I'm I'm just double checking and, and double checking uh, the transmission fluid right now uh, as it's cycling it through, changing it. I'm just changing it through gears, sitting here, making sure that it's working right. Uh, made sure the brakes were topped off. That's all good. But uh, we're finna take her on our maiden voyage. There's a little gas station right down the street, so we're just gonna head down there and. Uh, pick up a drink or something and then head back and see how she see how she does so uh i will let you guys know all right you guys so editing this video realized that i didn't make an ending to it so we did end up driving the truck uh ran pretty good however it does need tires pretty bad along with a, a wheel balance uh it's just got real bad hopping and then the tires have flat spots in them from being flat for so long um, but that pretty much sums it up for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning back in. As always, have a good one.